Hi, I'm Zania and I'm here from Radio Sona for the Student Music Network and I'm here with Psycho um, or um, Sam as, um, as she's known um, and we're here doing an interview uh, because she has a new song coming out soon um, which is really exciting um, so I just want to ask how you are. I'm going very well, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. So you've got this new song coming out. How are you feeling about it? Tell me about it. I'm excited. It's um with Flume, so it's it's quite a big step that I could like was lucky enough to have him on the track. Um I'm super excited for everyone to hear it. It's nice and bouncy. So when you were making the song, um was there like a certain way that you were doing it or was there something that you like a process like a a warm-up or something that you were doing like during the making of the song um that was like different from pre like when you've made music before um well we had a big chat about bubble tea beforehand and how I choked on them um <laughs> but we just wrote the song it all just flowed nicely and it just happened very very quickly and organically and was there anything that inspired this track yeah well I was on my first trip over to LA doing sessions and stuff and um I was kind of anxious because I was away from my friends it was the first time traveling um after COVID and so I think I was just anxious and I was the, like the lyrics in the song are like all about sitting in the feeling and just allowing it to happen so I think anxiety really inspired that <laughs> and speaking about inspirations is there uh, like an artist or somebody in, in your life who inspires you when you're writing your music I think a lot of people inspire me like Team Impala or like Charlie XCX but I think in that moment like I was in the studio with Flume and Sarah Arendt, who's an amazing writer. And I was just kind of like wanting to go off what was in the room and like what everyone's energy was like saying to each other. So I think, I think it was quite, it wasn't inspired by anything, but I don't know, like Chrome, Sparks and Flume like made the um, kind of beat before we were there. So then I don't know what inspired them. And um there's been a lot of stuff going on for you this year um what has been like a highlight for of this year for you um well in Australia there's a big festival called Splendor which is like the biggest festival we have here and so I got to play that which I'd been attending for years prior um and like the tent was packed and it was just the best time all, all round it was so awesome what was it um, like being on stage when you've like been a like festival girl for so long? Like being on the other great. end of that? It was wild. Like I couldn't, um, like, I had to hold back tears the whole set and I was just like picturing me in that tent, like standing on the right side and being like, what the heck? Like, how did you get up here? And um. You've done a lot of collaborations, um, like you said, oh gosh, like you said, this one, uh, this track was a collaboration. Um, is there any, like a dream collaboration that you have that you'd like absolutely love to work with in the future? I'd love to work with like Team Impala or Pharrell. Like that would just be so sick. Maybe them together would be crazy. Yeah, that would be, that would be sick, like them together. I imagine some some groovy yeah. tunes would come out of that, you know. What has been something that you've loved about being like a female music artist um, as you've sort of like come into um, not popularity, but sort of like growth in your career? Um, I've noticed like how like there's not many female people in the music industry and it's scary um it's made me become like um come into my femininity more and like that assertiveness and like knowing what I need and what I want so that's really helped I think like I think before I was very 
sort of naive and like not sure what I wanted because of society like what society told me I was and um as a female artist what advice would you give to like young female artists coming into the music industry I'd say know what you want and stick to it like know the vision and don't stray from it because I feel like I strayed from it and realized that like then just got all muddled up but like if you know what you want which I knew what I wanted but then I got turned and twisted um but if you know what you want then you're gonna do it because you nothing's gonna stop you fab what what is next I know you've just released a you're just releasing a new song but have you got any plans for what's next for your music I've got like a tour at the end of the year with Tame Impala and then I'm also releasing an album or I'm making the album at the moment but hopefully releasing it soon next year but yeah (laughs) how are you feeling about being on tour with Tame Impala it's crazy like they're like my number one um yeah it's I I I haven't even been able to process it because it's just so wild (laughs) you'll get there and be like oh this is happening (laughs) well thanks so much do you want to just quickly plug the name of the single and the release date cool um listen to my new single it's called ripple with production by flume and chrome sparks it's out now well thanks so much for talking to us and um yeah, I'm really excited to listen to this song and can't wait to see what you you uh, carry on doing next. So, Thank you. Thanks so much for having me.